And now, more with Social Women with your hosts, Pat Cruz, Amy Diaz, and Ronwin Dannenfelter. Please welcome the fabulous Mr. Jim Brickman. All right, Jim, are you there? Hello? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> Hello? I'm here. Oh, oh, there you are. Jim, we are so excited. We were just giving a little intro there, and I think I'm ready to kind of jump out of my seat here because I've already got my tickets for your show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, She's very excited, obviously. She's been beaming about it. Uh, yeah, if you look at me on Ustream. <laughs> well, you know, I think I saw you a couple of years ago, and I had the, uh, the pleasure to meet you as well. Um, so it, it was an interesting kind of, you know, foray into your world and listening to your music, and I haven't stopped since. So I kind of run around. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, so tell us a little bit about the holiday tour and, and what you're going to be doing. Well, believe it or not, this is the 16th year of our holiday tour, and uh, we've been we've been spreading the cheer for that many years, and it ne it is never uh, ceases to amaze me how much joy we have all together when we perform. Certainly, the uh, it's a it's a community involvement of of celebration and tradition and joy and nothing like it. Well, yeah, that's what we were saying. There's so much stuff going on in the world right now, and there's like when we go see concerts like yours or listen to music that's so inspirational and uplifting, it, it just, I don't know, makes your soul sing a little bit. So I want to thank you for bringing that to us. Um, and I know you're going to, I think the tour actually kicks off, what, in 10 days? Yeah, we, uh, we actually, well, next Friday we kick off in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and then we head east uh, to uh, many cities, but of course, Providence being one of the highlights, and on a great Saturday night, uh, just kicking off the holiday season. Yeah, you know, it's what, what a thing to do on a Saturday, go to the mall, and then I know that you're performing at the Veterans Memorial <laughs> Auditorium, which is just, it, it's so beautiful since they've redone it, and what a space to see you there, um, and performing with Ann Cochran again, right? Yes, Anne is with me, as well as an uh, electric violin player named Tracy Silverman. He was with me last time in Providence as well. And um, a special male vocalist guest this year who has a fascinating story. He's a former NFL Super Bowl champion. Yes. And Ben Utah. I was reading about him. It's amazing. Well, <laughs> you know, he, had, he had some it's concussions. It's a fascinating right? thing. It really is. <laughs> Yeah, what, what's his That's background? That's a swing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, what From you... one end to another? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's like not fair to be talented at so many things. But <laughs> he's, uh, he was on the field with the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. He won a Super Bowl with them. And after five concussions, he said, you know, I, I, I want to do what I've always wanted to do, which is sing. Mm -hmm. And football was like a sideline. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So how did you get connected with him? Did he reach out to you? I I saw him perform uh, with the Indianapolis Symphony, and it was just tremendous. I, and then I, then I heard his story. First, I was introduced to his voice, but he's just, uh, if you're a fan of Josh Groban or Michael Buble or that style of singing, he's just tremendous. Oh, that's excellent. I, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a great show. You know, and talking about collaborations, you've worked with just some really big powerhouses uh, in the music industry. Uh, as we all know, but I was reading your bio, and you do more than just compose and sing, and you, you're a facilitator of some great talent, but you also write books, and uh, which is incredible. I didn't realize that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do. It is, it is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Anything that I do really has a, an extension to it from... Um, from the music, so if it's a if it's a book or or if it's the radio show or any of those things, they all have uh, they all come from from kind of the, the romance of the music and certainly the the inspiration. I, I really b just believe that there's room in the world for this style of music to chill out to to be inspired to to take a bubble bath to any of the things people use my music for. Well, yeah, again, it's uplifting because that was one of the questions I wanted to ask you is where you find, you know, just this great, th these, these great topics. And as I was saying, I run around the house listening to Beautiful World, and it makes me feel good, especially on a bad day. So um, your inspiration comes from a Thank really you. good place, obviously, trying to make people feel better about themselves and comfortable and 
So thank you very much. I know we've only got a minute left here, Jim, um, and I, I want to just talk about your concert a little bit more. I know it's uh, Saturday, December 3rd, VMA, and the one thing very I wanted excited. to know. excited. Uh, yeah. Is very that, excited. You do something amazing, and you talk to the audience after, right? You've got a VIP package program? Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we have for many years that we have a VIP club program that is really a chance for us to kind of have a reception after the show to see everybody kind of talk about the highlights of the show and, you know, on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's always been something that's very important to me to, uh, to connect with fans that way. Well, that's what I love about you. You're very open and you're available to people. So, you know, we're going to keep putting the word out there and we're going to be giving away a couple of tickets to your show. And so we'll keep reinforcing that over the next couple of weeks. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. It is my pleasure. Thank you.